Hi all, welcome to another video on the channel. Good to see you all again. If you've not already done so, please do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It's amazing how many of my viewers are still not subscribed and it helps me so much and it's free to do so. So please go ahead and click that button now before watching the video. Thank you so much. Thank you also to my wonderful members. You can join the channel and support the channel if you'd like to. There are three levels of membership that you can choose between uh, and get various perks. So check that out as well. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content because that helps my videos to move up the uh, famed YouTube algorithm and reach a wider audience. Okay, so we have a topic as usual. What we're going to talk about today. It's November the 1st, 2023, as I record this, and today is the day that many people have been waiting for for some time, uh, and that is Microsoft 365 Copilot is released into the wild. Now, we all know uh, that I am a little bit cautious when it comes to AI technology, but I've got to get with it, and I've got to accept what it is, and it's here, but... I'm still going to be that um, voice of reason and voice of caution. So uh, I haven't uh, uh, changed my, my overall stance on that. But I can see the benefits of the tooling. But the focus of this video is what if you can't get Copilot? And there are many who can't. In this video, I'm going to show you a few little tips of how you can get around that. Check it out. So everybody's been looking forward to and talking about Microsoft 365 Copilot for quite some time now. The buzz has been real. But what if you can't get it? Now, I think most of us know uh, that you have to purchase Microsoft 365 Copilot from today, 1st of November, 2023, in batches of no less than 300. And it's not exactly cheap. I did think, however, and I was wrong about this, and thank you to my very dear friend, uh, Vesa Nopanen, who uh, pointed out to me that you cannot uh, purchase Copilot licenses directly from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I went in out of curiosity this morning and looked at purchase services and searched for it, but uh -uh, the computer says no. So apparently you have to get them from a commercial Microsoft conversation, now, why Microsoft have made this decision, I don't know. I'm always against what I perceive to be this sort of elitist behavior, but I'm sure from Microsoft's point of view, this makes commercial sense to them to only sell it in 300 licenses and above and at the price point that it is. Um, I do think in time that will come down once the buzz gets less and this becomes more of an everyday thing. But uh, for now, it is what it is. But this got me to thinking, are there ways around this? Can you make some of the features within Microsoft 365 Copilot work for you without purchasing the expensive Copilot licenses? And I did a bit of playing around, and, and yes, you can. It requires a little bit more effort, obviously, but here's what I found out. Let me share with you by going into a few of my web-based Microsoft 365 applications. We will start with uh, Microsoft uh, Teams. Now, uh, we all know that we can have meetings in Teams, and one of the great features within Teams meetings is that you can record the meeting, and you can also have a recorded transcription of the meeting text. One of the features of Copilot within Microsoft Teams is that you can ask it, if you're late to the meeting, to summarize the key points of the meeting and uh, ask for it to call out some bullet point actions uh, from that meeting to help you get up to speed. Now, you can't quite do the same thing within uh, Microsoft Teams without the Copilot license, but with Bing Chat Enterprise, which I have enabled on my personal tenant, you can use the Bing Chat Enterprise Copilot within Microsoft Edge from this Copilot button here at the top right. So we expand that out. 
and you get this lovely pop out for Bing Chat Enterprise. I've done a video on Bing Chat Enterprise previously, so you can check that out. And one of the great features of it is that anything that you put into the chat text is going to be protected uh, and treated as sensitive information. It is not going to be used to train the large language model. Therefore, you can use it without concern. So I have a transcript that I have downloaded from a meeting. And what I'm gonna do in the chat here, I am going to ask Bing Chat Enterprise to summarize the meeting transcript for me and call out some key actions. So uh, please analyze this meeting transcript and summarize and list key action points. I'm just going to put a full stop and I'm going to paste it in and I'm going to hit the submit button. It goes away searching your page for information. And it's going to come back. Here we go. I have analyzed the meeting transcript and here is my summary and key action points. This meeting is a weekly catch up between blank, 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 blank. I'm not going to name names. and I'm going to blur this out because it's confidential. <laughs> Uh, the meeting started with some casual conversation. Blank shares his screen and goes over the following agenda points. Point one, point two, point three. The meeting ends with Blank asking about holidays uh, and connecting with uh, Blank. The key action points are Blank to send Blank details on Blank and so on and so forth. So you get the gist. Um, there's one in there that does uh, actually... Uh, relate to me and I can read out because uh, it's not particularly private and most pe people know. Peter Rising to rest and recover from COVID-19 and update blank on his progress. So there you go. <laughs> really quite handy. So that's one example of how you can use the Bing Chat Enterprise to do something that uh, you would be able to do with my M365 Copilot. There's a little bit more effort involved, but it's essentially doing the same sort of thing. Next, let's take a look at an email. Now, one of the things that Copilot can do with emails is that when you're reading an email that you've received, you can compose uh, a response in a particular tone. So what you can ask Copilot to do is to uh, write a response to an email uh, in an um, informal way or a formal way or, or whatever. This is a, an informal email that I had with two friends uh, some time ago asking about catching up. So I want to reply to this in a very informal way. So uh, I'm going to copy the uh, text of the email. And again, I'm going to blur this out because it is, uh, it is personal. And I don't want to violate the privacy of my friends, but I'm going to ask uh, Bing Chat Enterprise to um, analyze I don't need to go that precise, actually. I need to write an informal reply to this email text. And paste that in and hit the submit button. And it goes away and thinks about it. And there we go. And it says, hi, Blank. I'm glad you're having a good day. I appreciate your flexibility with the meeting time. I think 15.30 would work better for me as I have some urgent tasks to finish before then, if that's okay with you. Please send me a calendar invite and I'll confirm it. Thanks. Your name. That's good, but it's still a little bit formal for somebody who I'm uh, very, very informal with. So I'll go a bit further and say, uh, please can you make the reply less formal and hit the submit button and let's see what it comes up with this time okay sure i can try to make the reply less formal how about this hi blank wow you're on fire today no problem with the meeting time i'm a bit swamped until 15 30 so that would be better for me can you send me an invite and i'll join you then cheers there you go absolutely brilliant so you can copy that quite easily. It's easy to copy from the responses there. Uh, we can do that. I can whack that right into 
the body of my email. And if you needed to reply to a more formal email with a lot more responses and bullet points, uh, I've not tested it, but we, I'm sure it could do that too. So, and I think this is the sort of thing that will only get better and better as it grows and develops. Okay, finally, PowerPoint. Now, Copilot in MEM365 can do some really clever things when using PowerPoint, and uh, it can create presentations for you based on criteria that you put in. It can create presentations for you based on uh, content in Word documents and other M365 sources. I've seen that in the in the demos that I've seen on Copilot. Um, what can it do in this context, though, with using Bing Chat Enterprise? So. Um, I'm going to ask it to uh, create me uh, some slides for a customer presentation on M365 Copilot as an example. Let's see what we got. So, what it's telling me here is it cannot access my web page uh, at the moment. Try again in some time. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's try an answer from the web instead, see what it comes up with. You can also use, instead of the chat, you can use the compose feature here at the top of Bing Chat Enterprise as well. And you can get different responses depending on switching between those experiences. So here we go. I can help you with this. Here are some slides I created for you. Slide one, introducing Microsoft 365 Copilot. Okay, there we go. We've got some bullet points on there. Cool stuff. And that's good. So I've got slide one there now. It'll go through and give me all the slides. I'm just going to stop it responding there for now and show you what I uh, am going to do with slide one. Now I can paste that in, as you can see, and it doesn't come through in a particularly nice format, but with the designer here, you can choose different styles to help you get started with this. And you can start formatting the text as you need and and get this the way you want. We can see more design ideas and it's a really good starting point. So again, a little bit more effort than you would have in the full Copilot M365 experience, but you get the idea. So this is kind of like what Microsoft tell you to do if you've got an M365 E3 license and you can't make the step up to Microsoft 365 E5. It's almost like doing more with less. It's like when you can't auto label because you don't have an E5 license, what you can do with E3 is you can set a default label or require a user to set a label. So it's like a little workaround, which requires a little bit more effort, but you're getting similar and sometimes near enough the same results. So um, I really like this. So let me know what you think and if you found any other ways that you can make Bing Chat Enterprise work for you in an almost similar way to the full M365 Copilot. There you go, that's it. I appreciate it's not exactly the same as M365 Copilot and there's a little bit more effort involved, but it's just a couple of examples of things you can do to make your Bing Chat Enterprise experience that is available to you with many M365 subscriptions. So check that out as well, uh, make it work for you. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had similar thoughts. If you can't justify Copilot in your organization or if you're a uh, interested individual who just wants to try it out, but you can't because let's face it, you're not going to buy 300 licenses. Um, then have you tried this? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts and let me know if you think Copilot will eventually become uh, more widely available. I'm sure it will, uh, but it's going to take time, obviously. Right. Thanks as ever for all your support. Let's wind up the video again. Please hit like, share, subscribe, consider becoming a member, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.